On May 4, 2020, Gold's Gym declared Chapter 11 bankruptcy, which was in part due to the shutdowns caused by the coronavirus. Gold's Gym scrambled to put together a restructuring plan, and part of this plan included selling Gold's Gym to the highest bidder. And the highest bidder ended up being German-based company RSG Group. In this episode of Total Body Training, we answer the following questions. What happened? Who is RSG Group? And finally, my thoughts about the issue. Welcome back to Total Body Training. I'm Jean Carlos. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button. On this channel, we go over fitness tips, trends, and tutorials to help you stay informed and get in shape. On with the video. Today is July 16, 2020, and we've been dealing with coronavirus for what feels like years now, but in reality, it's only been about five months. However, at the start of the pandemic, Gold's Gym and all other major companies and gyms and businesses that were considered non-essential were forced to close due to the virus. And two months after shutting down, Gold's was able to open up in certain parts of the country, but not in all, in fact, not all gyms have reopened everywhere in the United States right now. This forced Gold's Gym to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, and it also led to them having to close 30 of their corporate-owned locations. As I mentioned, it's been nearly six months, and we are still dealing with the coronavirus, and a lot of places haven't been able to reopen, lots of gyms have had to close, and we are also working at a smaller capacity due to capacity restrictions, but also people just don't feel like necessarily going back to the gym right now considering that they could potentially catch the coronavirus. So people are being rather careful about going back to working out in the gym. This industry continues to feel the effect, while the fitness industry continues to feel the effects of the coronavirus, TRT Holdings Inc., which is the majority shareholder of Gold's Gym, started trying to sell the company through a bidding process. And on July 13th, 2020, TRT Holds Inc. sold Gold's Gym for $100 million. So who bought Gold's Gym? They sold it to German-based fitness and lifestyle company, RSG Group. Which brings me to my next point. Who is RSG Group? I've been in the fitness industry for over six years and I've never heard of RSG. And that might be because I've never really been over into Europe or Germany. <laughs> That's completely my bad. I did a little bit of digging around and after looking for information about RSG, it turns out that RSG is an extremely successful company. I did some digging around on the company's website. I found out a little bit about their history, where they started, and about their owner. The CEO of RSG is Rainer Scheller. I hope I pronounced that German name correctly. <laughs> if not, let me know down in the comment section below. Rainer Scheller is the CEO and founder of RSG Group. And Scheller actually started off the whole thing back in 1997 when he opened his first fitness gym, McFit. He opened McFit in Schlautzfield, Germany. Again, with these German pronunciations, I don't know anything about German words and things like that, so crucify me. He opened up McFit in Schlautz, Schlautzfield, Germany in 1997. The company grew pretty quickly and began to open other locations and acquire gyms all across Germany and in Europe. Immediately following the announcement of the acquisition by RSG, RSG put out a press release. I'm going to read directly from the press release where they talk about RSG. And it says the following, with more than 2 million customers, RSG Group GmbH is the world's innovation leader in the areas of fitness and lifestyle. Our strong brands and future-oriented concepts include fitness club chains, McFit, the John Reed family, John Reed Fitness Music Clubs, John Reed Music, John Reed Women's Club, John and James the Reed, High Five, and Gold's Gym, the most well-known fitness brand in USA. Cyber Aerobics, the fitness planner app Luke's, the unique training experience master of enthusiasm, our own sports nutrition QI squared, our in-house model agency McFit Models, Pearl Management, artist management agency Tiger Pool that represents the fashion label Marcel Von Berlin, and street artist Ron Miller, exclusively exclusive cake brand Steven Baker and the Mira, where we motivated millions of people to get more active while having fun. With our varied profile, we ensure we remain a key component of the customer's everyday lives. They have quite the portfolio. <laughs> they own various companies. It's all in the wheelhouse of fitness, but it also has to do with lifestyle and wellness. So 
They seem like they really have their stuff together and this is a company that only started back in 1997. Gold's Gym has been around for a lot longer than that. So they've done very well for themselves and it's really impressive. Rainer Scheller cites Gold's Gym as being an influence on his McFit gym brand and everything else that he's done. That's entirely true. Gold's Gym has influenced the entire fitness industry. They have a legacy that they have been building on for years and all other gyms have tried to emulate that same kind of thing that Gold's Gym started off with. I'm going to read a direct quote from Scheller which was in the press release and these are his thoughts about acquiring Gold's Gym. Gold's Gym is a fitness institution that had a major influence on the industry development. It was a huge source of inspiration when I was setting up my first McFit studio in Würzburg, Germany back in 1997. I'm incredibly proud that in partnership with their current leadership team, we will be able to breathe new life into the iconic brand under the umbrella of RSG. Notice that he mentioned that he's gonna be working directly with the leadership team. So I guess that means that they're not going to get rid of the main people who are leading Gold's Gym over here. So that means that they won't be getting rid of Adam Zaitsev, at least not at this time. And that got me curious about what Adam Zaitsev had to say about this topic. So I looked up some more information and I found this article from the Dallas Business Journal that has a quote from Adam Zaitsev, and it says the following. For us, this acquisition will open up brand new opportunities to lead Gold's Gym into a strong future together. My team and I are excited to partner with RSG, and we look forward to much success for our team members, our members, and our global brand. Adam Zaitsev. Finally, what do I think about this? What's my opinion? I made a video about Gold's Gym filing for chapter 11. And at the end of that video, I asked the question, can Gold's Gym bounce back after filing chapter 11 bankruptcy? A lot of companies don't make it, but then there are some companies that are very well known that do make it. And I mentioned Apple once went bankrupt, Marvel Entertainment went bankrupt, and now these companies are huge and they dominate the industries that they're inside of. So I said that if Gold's Gym got together a really good plan, they could bounce back from this bankruptcy. I think that Gold's Gym is making the right decision and partnering with a larger company fitness brand that has their eye on the future. RSG's brands and gyms are found across six different continents. They are very popular outside of the United States. They have done very, very well for themselves. And so I think that having a new set of eyes, younger people, a new brand that is younger and moving with greater momentum could actually help fix the issues that they've been dealing. I think this is a great move for Gold's Gym. I just hope that it's a good move for RSG, which I think it will be, especially right now, I think that within the next several months, we will eventually, hopefully, be out of this coronavirus thing, you know, sometime in like January, hopefully. Ugh, who knows, things change every day. But I think that with all the momentum that RSG already had and with the money that they're going to be bringing to the table and with their new set of eyes, they can really help solve some of the issues and maybe innovate where the Gold's Gym brand was kind of maybe dragging a little bit they might be able to innovate and improve upon that brand. Question of the day. Do you think Gold's Gym can bounce back from this bankruptcy now that RSG owns Gold's Gym? Let me know down in the comments section below. I try my best to answer each and every person's comments. All right, people, thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. Until next time, peace. Working out from home can be boring. Whether it's the fact that you don't have proper weightlifting equipment or you're sick and tired of using pre-recorded workout videos that lack motivation and proper instruction that is geared towards you. If you find yourself in one of those categories, look no further than Total Body Training. We've got you covered with our online weightlifting from home program. That's right, we teach you in a virtual classroom how to work out and lift weights for you at your current level and where you want to be at in the next 6, 12 weeks. Where do you want to be at by the end of this year? We've got you covered with our online weightlifting program. So if you're interested, read the description section of this video to learn more about how you can start lifting weights from home with us today.